I think you're somehow involved in the president assassination. <sighs> the president's body was only discovered today. It still leaves a blank of one whole day after Judge Courtney met with him unaccounted for. Don't be so impatient. We're gonna fill in that blank right here, right now. The evening on that blank day in question is what's important. What happened here last night? So why don't you tell us, John Marsh? Me? You know who you were here last night, we know. What? John was here? Between that little Missy's testimony and the footprints we found, we can easily prove it. John, you were rehearsing here last night, right? You were spying on me? I I'm sorry, I, I just came to check up on things. You really shouldn't be staying up so late, you know? Mind your own business. John Marsh, that young lady was worried about you. You will not speak to her like that. Okay, Mom. Sorry. How many times have I told you to be more mindful of the way you speak? Is it just me, or does Miss Courtney's personality seem kind of different? She seems to be as strict with her own son as she is with these uh, who those who violate the law. Are you listening to me? And earlier as well. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You should always bear that in mind, no matter the occasion. Look, sweetheart, that's wonderful. Can we get on with the investigation already? Ah, pardon me. For Judge Courtney to get carried away like that. This must be your motherly side. Agent Lang, do you suspect John? All I want is the truth. Why was the president killed? And I want to know who killed him. I'll do whatever it takes to find out. Seems the president was like a family to him. John, would it be alright if we asked you a few questions? Sure, it's fine. I got nothing to hide anyway. Doubt? I don't think he did anything, but I think he's got something to hide. I wasn't feeling too great yet during yesterday's shoot, so I made a few bloopers. They're reshooting the scenes today, so... Well, I decided to rehearse a little on my own, that's all. I do it all the time, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary. You were rehearsing alone that late at night? Uh... No, not that one. Uh, where's the recording? This one. Yeah, there's nothing weird. A fucking footprint in the ground? That's normal? John, when I called you last night, you told me you were at the hotel. You called him. About what time was that? I believe it was around 11 p.m. I require him to call me every night. That's our rule whenever he stays away from home. The truth is, I was at the film lot during that time. <laughs> you lied to me. So you lied to me. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Miss Courtney sure is angry. I think it's admirable that he practiced on his own, even if he hid it from his mom. I'm sure she was simply worried. Who knows what could have happened to him, out alone so late at night. In reality, he did get caught up in yesterday's incident. But John said there, was not, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary, right? Is that really the truth? No. Wasn't feeling too great, blah, blah, blah. It's moving along. I did all the time, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary. I feel like I could present here, but I also also... Fuck it, why not? I got an HP to spare. HP for days, just in case. John, please. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary. That's a lie, isn't it? We have evidence right here. Uh, could that be? That's right. It's the video you recorded of your performance. Uh, what? You're telling me you have a video from last night? Exactly, and in this video, there's clearly something that is out of, pl out of the ordinary. This is a monster's footprint. Would you say that monster's footprints are common are commonplace on a film set? John, why did you conceal this video from us? No reason, really. Hey, pop, this is no joking matter. You had a reason to hide it, right? 
John Marsh, answer him clearly. But Mom... Well... I don't want anyone to see me rehearsing. Dude's like fucking 12 or 13. Duh. In other words, you're embarrassed about others seeing you practice. Or 14. Yeah, got a problem with that? You're saying that it's why you hid the evidence? John! Uh, but nagging me. You've already busted me. What more do you want? Yeah, the footprints were there. I just practiced and headed home. How come you're so calm after finding those footprints? It's a monster, you know? A real life monster. I thought it was just a part of the sad. Besides, there's lots of other weird stuff around here, too. He's suspicious, Chief. The kid's really suspicious. You're right, that sm the smell of a scoop sneaks to high heaven. Shut up. We're done talking. We're not done here yet. What now? The monster's footprints weren't the only unusual thing that happened last night. Besides the monster's footprints, what other unusual thing happened last night? Uh, the lock got busted. This shows what happened yesterday. And just what exactly does it show? You don't understand, do you? You're still a child, after all. <laughs> and I need some guy who's less intelligent than a child telling you that. Ugh. Seems that wasn't it. Let's review what happened here last night one more time. Yeah, I won't let this child make a fool of me any longer. Why are you getting so worked up about that? Anyway, just what was it that happened last night? A bunch of shit happened last night. The fucking president there. Uh, the fuck if I know. Wasn't that... A lot of testimony? No, not that. Yes, it fell. A monster's head fell from the roof of that building. I feel like a busted lock is just as fucking important as that. But what do I fucking know? Surely you must have known about that. I don't know anything about it. Oh, he just knocked it over. Is that true? So, like, the reason he's hiding is because people think that's, like, how the president died and he just knocked it over. It's probably, like, 99% chance. I told you, I just practiced a bit when I went back. I don't know anything about Musilla's head falling or anything like that. But do you have evidence to show that I know something? There certainly isn't any evidence of that. But it's also possible that it fell after John had already gone back. If there's no evidence, when I, like, like I said, we're done talking. Seems that John doesn't really want to talk about last night. Could he be hiding something, after all? What up? Engine lying. <laughs> it's as I thought. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. This video backs up my logic. Huh? Is there something in the video that's related to the case? Yeah. Take a good hard look at that monster costume in the top left. He's gonna say that's where they hit the body. The Muzilla costume? But the reason that's not true is because we have a picture of someone inside the costume. Try comparing it with the one over here right now. Uh, looks like it's just hanging there limply, though. And the zipper on its back is zipped up tight. Zipper on its back. This discrepancy is... Yeah, difference is plain to see. In the video, the zipper is clearly open. That's right. Someone was inside. What? Mr. Powers, is this costume zipper usually? It's always zipped up tightly. What's not in use? Mr. Prosecutor, do you remember my logic from before? Two nights ago, Courtney pushed the president off the roof and killed him. <laughs> He'd be a fucking paste. Still. Afterwards, she snuck onto the film line and hid the body. In here. Wouldn't it be easy to hide a body in a costume or behind all this equipment? 
Then all she had to do last night was retrieve the body. We have a picture of a picture of yesterday, which means he would have had the she would have had to hid the body, but then know to take it out before powers got inside of it, and then put it back in there. Like, come on, this is just silly. You're saying the body was hidden inside the costume. Yeah, that's right. Judge Courtney. Two nights ago, you pushed the president off the roof of this tower. You then hid the body inside the monster costume. I did no such thing. Say what you want, but you're the only one who could have done it. No. That should have already been proven impossible. The film law was locked at the time. Judge Courtney could not have entered this place. And what if there was an accomplice? What? That little fucking brat. I'll tell you my reasoning, so listen up. Mother and son theory. When the president was pushed off the roof, John was waiting at the film lot. <laughs> if John was an accomplice, the problem with the locks should be re would be resolved. The two of them then hid the president's body inside that monster costume over there. You think this crime had such an elaborate plan? To take the life of a nation's president. An elaborate plan is to be expected, don't you think? No, dumb fuck. John would never take part in such a crime. Yeah, you're likely the one to be saying that. You're the one being suspected. Your words don't carry much weight. I wouldn't think those two had sufficient motive for something like this, though. Well, maybe they had a motive that we didn't know about. You were the last one to meet with the president, and you're still keeping the details secret. Don't you think it's only natural that you're being a suspected? Judge Courtney, is there no way for you to tell us what us your secret? My apologies. I just cannot, no matter what. However, when the time I can talk about it comes, I will surely let you know. So if you could please... Believe you? Is that what you wanted to say? Huh, fat jet. That's what all criminals say. And hey, you, pup. Have you got an explanation? Hurry up and spit it out. <laughs> and I didn't do anything. Nothing. That's all I'm saying. Both mother and son won't talk. You still gonna defend them like this? It's true Judge Courtney's actions are a mystery. However, we still don't know whether or not that ties in with the motive for murder. Yeah, that's right. Their motive for murder can wait. For now, let's talk about the situation surrounding the crime. And the fact that these two are the only ones who could have done it. Calm down. Push off the roof, John was waiting in the film lot. Was he? John was an accomplice. The problem with the locks. He was, uh, I'm gonna fucking press on that. Agent Lang, don't tell me you're saying John was an accomplice. Uh, I was gonna say, like, how do you know John was at the film lot two nights ago? Because it wasn't last night, it was two nights ago. John still looks like a grade school kid. He's even got a kitty backpack to boot. How could he be an accomplice? There's just no way. Like I said, John's already in middle school, and the backpack is part of his costume. Lang Z says, kids are fucking stupid. No matter how young the cub, Never pity an ungrateful pup. He may be a little brat, but a villain deserves no mercy. So Mr. Ling Z didn't uh, take any, make any allowance for ages. Mr. Prosecutor, you're just not you're not just defending him because he's a pup, are you? Of course, that was never my intention. I shall present suitable evidence in court, of course. I'm looking forward to it. My lodge is getting started. John was an accomplice. That's true. That is just a fact. The two of them then hid the president's body. Inside that monster costume over there. Press. In the video, we cannot see the inside of the costume. So, can we? Can you really say for certain that the body was placed inside? Yeah, I'll give you that much. In that case, why don't we try examining it? The inside of that costume. There might be some traces left inside. Sure, Mr. Powers, may we examine the inside of the costume? Sure, go ahead. But it might be kind of stinky, since I sweat a lot in there. This is incredibly dirty. That's strange. 
Always make sure to clean it after using it so that, that the sweat doesn't damage the costume. Isn't this just proof that someone besides you used this costume? I say that dirt from the body probably got into the costume. The president's body did fall on top of the monster's footprint. That must be where the dirt came from. Are you satisfied now? No. There's dirt inside the costume. It must have gotten there when the body was hidden inside. Hold it. What? So dirt got into the costume when the body was hidden inside. Wouldn't that mean that the dirt was transferred from the body? Huh. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? How else would you, uh, uh, would you say it got there? There's dirt stuck everywhere inside the costume. Looks particularly bad around the chest area. Dirt around the chest. Cannot overlook this fact. Mr. Lang's logic doesn't seem to make sense. Indeed, if those two were accomplices, the crime certainly would have been possible. So it would be useless to argue that point. In that case, what should we do? We should argue that it couldn't have been the body. Firstly, we should have Agent Lang explain his reasoning in more detail. Let's draw out more information. It's not a costume. It's dirt inside. Let's uh, push on this. Dirt got onto the costume when the body was hidden inside it. Is that really the case? You have a problem with that? I mean, there's more dirt than there is on the body. There's a fair amount of dirt inside the front of the costume. Yeah, that is a lot of dirt. However, I would like you to focus on the state the body is in. It's lying on top of the dirt, and yet there's no dirt on the front of the body. Well, there's some yellow schmutz on the chest. And the body really was inside the costume. And it's strange that the front of the body isn't stained with more dirt. Uh, well then, how would you explain it? Well, actually, what I'd argue here is that it was facing upwards. That the back is covered in dirt. Obviously, because it's face down and or back down in dirt and that's how you put it you didn't put him like like his arms into the costume you put it just like backwards so like when you open it you just see his face that's what i'd argue if i was lying here how the dirt get inside the costume from the video footage it's very likely that someone was inside the costume but just who could it have been it was probably john why have i seen this what's the matter guy I just feel like I remember seeing something that looked like this dirt somewhere before. But where was it? There's those bits of gray fragments mixed in with the dirt. Gray fragments. Cement. Or concrete. There does seem to be uh, something other than normal dirt mixed in. Something must have gotten stuck to it. And lots of it, I might add. Hmm. Something got stuck to it. This may merit a closer look. Where did we see the dirt that looks like it was stuck on the inside of the costume? Right here. Take that. This is what you're thinking of, isn't it, Kay? Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, you sure are sharp. <laughs> Naturally. But too bad, not this time. What? <laughs> you should. Oh! Dude's gloves. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you remember? Dirt, dirt. Where else did you see this dirt? Dirt. Wasn't there a piece of evidence that had this dirt on it? It's on the tip of my brain, but I can't just place it. Where on earth have we seen we seen dirt like this before? Oh my god. Fuck off. Take that. This dirt. Has some gray bit, bit to mixed into it. Huh. What of it? We found an item belonging to a certain man that was covered in the same type of dirt. That is to say, these gloves. Those dirt stains. Certainly look the same, but tell me, just what exactly is the gray substance? This gray substance is concrete. This gray su substance must be fragments of concrete. You mean the stuff that was scattered around the monster's footprints? Exactly. Meanwhile, who do these gloves which are stained with the same kind of dirt belong to? Oh, I remember, we found it at Blaze's place. Earlier today, we went to Blaze's garage. There we discovered these dirt-stained gloves. Couldn't think of it. There were also hammers, shovels, and other tools placed inside as well. Why would a mechanic's gloves intended to be used on machines be covered in dirt? 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> Unless they're all purpose gloves. If you broke the concrete with a hammer and then dug into the soil with the shovel, then it's only natural for dirt to be l like this on the gloves. Then maybe. Yes, the true nature of the monster footprints has been made clear. It's possible that these footprints were dug up by Blaze to best himself. It's possible. Huh. It's possible, you say. Please do enlighten me. Because I honestly have no fucking clue. Why on earth would he do something like that? He might have hidden evidence underground. Why do you make the foot monster footprint? Thinking about it, the monster must be. He was digging something up. It's possible he was digging something up. It's probably went something like this. Like way in the past, he dug something down. Last night at this spot, there was something that Blaze needed to dig up. And that reason, he broke the lock on the back door and sneaked into the film lot. Using the hammer and shovel, he's set to work. I like low graphic. He placed the items he dug up in his bag before he could fill in the holes. That's when John came to practice. Exactly. Blaze panicked and had no choice but to hide himself in the Mozilla costume nearby. Ugh! I think you were to do so much from just a pair of dirt stained gloves. However, all this is merely a possibility. Yours is a possibility. There's still no proof that he was inside he was the one inside who was hi he was the one who was hiding inside that costume. For all we know, he might have left the scene once he finished digging. On the contrary, such proof does exist and can be seen in the video. When this video was recorded, Blaze was definitely inside the film lot. It's because shit changed after he left, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm 99.99% sure. That, like, in the next scene. Never mind, he- John is literally the only thing that changes. Fuck. Never mind. Fuck. <laughs> what?! So I can't blame Agent Link for not noticing it. The difference between the current film lot... ...and the one in John's video. The bags? Along with the state of Blaze's garage. It's all too clear that Blaze was still here. This proves that Blaze was still on the film lot when this video was recorded. It's the bag, right? It's gotta be. I don't see anything else. This black bag placed near the costume. There was an identical one inside Blaze's garage. There was. First the dirt on the gloves, and now the bag. Seems there is a connection. I don't- I didn't even remember there's a fucking bag in Blaze's garage, okay? I just fi figured that because there wasn't a bag sitting there. Mechanics gloves. And it does seem out of place. And that's my proof. Blaze was inside the costume. Ergo, the president's body could not have been hidden inside it. Aya! Seems I was able to refute Agent Lang's reasoning. So I need to investigate Blaze's house right away, pal. We need to know what was inside that bag. Yes, sir. Y'all pipe down and listen up. Y'all just been saying whatever works best for y'all. And the noisy one returns. That there's the footprints of the mine of Mozilla. They ain't just some random holes dug up by that old coot. I believe the true nature of these footprints has already been proven quite logically. Logic schma- uh, schmogic. I ain't buying it. Say what you want, but I know what I saw, and I saw Mozilla. She referring to how she saw Mozilla out the window of the ground tower. Preposterous. Upon our journalist souls, we ain't having none of it. This statement is an insult to journalists everywhere. Oh, that's right. There's more than them monsters than just those footprints. I remember hearing that Sunny over there was seen with that monster earlier. I reckon the gal over the, there said she witnessed it herself. 
When these two are together, all meaningful talk grinds to a halt. If we only knew just what the monster really was, I think those two would quiet down. Mr. Edgeworth, isn't there anything you can do? The monster's true identity? We don't have much choice. Let's just say what we can. Isn't there something y'all ain't telling us about the monster? Nicole, ask him! Ask him right now! Please settle down. Regarding the true identity of that monster, I already know what it is. What do you say? That's right, the video John recorded provided the hint that I needed. What you talking about? Mr. Nickel saw Gordon. When she went to check up on John's practice. At that time, she mistook something for Gordy. The monster can be seen in this photograph. What? Ain't that just some plain old souvenir photo? Y'all don't really think y'all can pull the wool over the eyes of a pro like me, do ya? What did Miss Co Nichols really see and she mistook for Gordy? Camera, camera on. The boon. Naturally, Gordy's true identity was... This camera crane. What? The video John recorded was shot from a fairly high up. A shot from this position would be impossible without a camera crane. But there ain't no way Miss Nichols would mistake a camera crane from Gordy. It was dark and it had a sheet over it. I wonder what about that, Miss Nichols? Yes. Earlier you said that prescription for your glasses didn't match your eyesight anymore, correct? Yes. Yes, lately it seems like my eyesight has suddenly gotten a lot worse. So would you say that if we, you weren't able you weren't able to see Gordy very clearly in the dark? That's right. Its silhouette was almost all was all I could make out. But remember what Miss Nichols said? And I quote, its skin was really scaly, almost like a reptile. Camera cranes ain't got no flesh on them, let alone skin. It's just bare steel frame. That is certainly true. At least in the case of this photo. However, last night it did have a skin. Keep the rain off of it. Y'all just doing whatever you can get in the way of our big scoop, ain't ya? That was not my intention. But since I've come this far, it's time to put an end to your nonsense. Gordy's skin is right before our very eyes. It's right there. This is the skin of Gorda that Nichols saw. Take that. As Miss Nichols stated in her testimony earlier, it looked like it was going to rain last night. While it never actually rained, John still covered the camera crane with a rainproof sheet. Which to Miss Nichols it looked like a monster skin. What? Y'all gotta be kidding me. Isn't that right, John? Man, you saw it through it all. Not bad, old man. Like it was hard. Fortunately, the Gordy that Miss Nichols saw was nothing more than an illusion. Not again. Looks like my dream has shriveled up and dried off once again. Mentor. Seems like things have finally settled down. Thank God. I really thought the boy was hiding something from me. Guess I had it all wrong. Now that we figured out the true form of the monster, everyone seems refreshed. How about we get back to the fucking point of this thing? Actually, there's two people here who are totally bummed out. Agent Lang! We have a report! Report it, sir! We've got the uh, results of President Wong's autopsy. It's gonna fuck me and it's gonna be like, oh, the body's two days old. Good! Show it to me! Contusions and bone fractures found across the body, resulting from tremendous pressure. That sounds like a fall to me. So, this is the cause of death. In other words, he was crushed to death. I thought as much. Crushed to death. Fuck. God, that is a shitty way to go. The always staying on his chest is currently under investigation. It seems like the gunpowder residue was found on his right arm. Which means he shot someone. Before being crushed to death. Or shot at someone. I don't think he shot someone. They would have probably found the dead body. 